you ever try something with all of your heart, all your fiber, all of your energy, and it just didn't work out? You see, a lot of the times that happens to me. I give something 110%, and it just won't go the way that I wanted it to, to, to go. And the way I build focus, and I talk about this in my previous videos, you know, I, I, the way I build focus is by asking myself questions like, Jay, are you serious? Did you really give it, you know, all you got? What, what's the most valuable use of your time right now? What have you done for yourself lately? You know what I mean? And um, it's, it, this is what matters. This is what matters. Did you try? Did I try? I have to ask myself, did I try? Okay, yes, I tried. I gave it all I got, but I'm still breathing. I'm still alive. As long as you're alive, you will always have a chance. You still have a chance. So what I think would be best to do is to eliminate try as such a mon momentary type of thing. You know, make it something that has more length and depth to it. Try is, is a constant. It should always be looked at as a constant. It shouldn't be looked at as like a, a, a stamp, like that's exactly what it is. I tried. Let me keep it moving. You know, you want to look at it like I tried and I'm going to keep trying. There's an ongoing process here. I always talk about this, even in Hustler Talks. I'm talking about, I was just talking about this last week. As long as you don't stop, you won't, you won't lose. It's impossible to lose as long as you can increase the momentum. And you, even if you don't increase the momentum, it's impossible to lose when you just don't give in. Now, when you lack money, it takes a lot longer for things to happen. So that's why you'll see the same guy at the same position for many years, and then it'll look like overnight success because now money is involved. And what money does is like gasoline for dreams. It's gasoline for people. A lot of people don't, won't even mess with you unless there's money on the table. And I know it's so weird the way that people treat each other today, but that's really just how it is. And your best bet is to get with the program and to not try to change the program. Get with the program, learn what's going on, and respond to the situation. Don't react to the situation. So you want to focus on continuous effort over and over again. When you're burnt out, when it's raining outside, when your stomach hurts, when you have a cramp, that is when you need to be going as hard as you can go because those little diversities will pop up out of nowhere and, and shut you down or slow your train down. And the slower you go, right, if there's two people running the race, one person stops to tie their shoe, what does that mean for the, for the, opponent, for the opponent? That means the opponent is now, they have an up on you, right? Now there's leverage. Now they're, now they're gone. They're gone ahead. You're done. You lift your head up. What do you have to do? You got to get back to it. Now you, it's going to take you more effort to get back to where you once were. You're not even at the finish line, but it's going to take you more effort to get back to where you once were, at least just to break even with your competition or your opponent because you stopped for a little while. So your best bet, because there is a finish line. There is a finish line. We're not just going to be doing this shit for, I mean, there's some people that just want to work the rest of their lives. I know I don't. I mean, I'm doing what I can do right now at a young age in my 20s. But when I'm in my late 30s and 40s, man, I'm not trying to just be here. Well, maybe maybe I am. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really know. But to my knowledge, right, as of right now, speaking for today, I don't want to be working at 14, at 40. You know, I want to be working on myself. But I don't want to just be still trying to build a business and build a business. I, by then, I should, at least, I should at least have figured it out by now and have things working for me. You know, CEOs don't go to work every day. They're, not, they're never there. They're never there. They have they set up systems and make the systems work for them. That's why you can plug a Subways and then you can plug in a McDonald's in any part of the entire world because it's a well-known system that's been working since the early 70s or even the early 60s. That's the way it works. Continue to go. Continue to try. You won't die. You you won't die. Today, today sucks. Oh well, today sucks. Today sucks for me. I'm beating myself over there and I'm in a damn real estate school. I'm doing, you know, I'm not even with my family right now. Like my girl and my kid, they're out, they're out uh, having like a brunch with one of her friends. My mom's not in the town that I live in. Like today's not the funnest day for me. It's really not. Today all I have to do is study because I have to take the test on Monday and I hope that I pass. And I'm stopping to shoot this. But meanwhile, I'm stopping to shoot this four or five minute video. The competition or the other people in my class or whoever, the guy that's just as hungry as me, He's hustling. He's reading right now. He's studying. So that right there was a constant reminder for me to just cut this damn video off and get back to what I have to get to. But that's what I want to invite you guys to do today. Keep trying, man. It's not over. As long as you try, as long as you continue to try, you won't. It's impossible to fail. It may take long until money comes, but just keep going. I guarantee you, you will win.
Make sure you subscribe if you think my information is helpful. You can click the links below. I have my audio book, $100 Startup, which you can use. You can plug in today and start making money online like I do. You can, uh, you can check out my other um, audio books if you want to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. And I do recommend you sign up for Hustlers Talk this Sunday. Every Sunday we meet. I do a big conference call. I, you know, I, give, I give you the game. I give you what I can give you, man. I make PowerPoints. Long, long story short, you know, if you're interested, click the link below. If not, just take the free stuff, man. Regardless, this is just me giving you the best that I have. Later, guys.